is me when I was 10 years old. And these were my moon shoes. They were my favorite toy in the whole world. I just lied to you, I never owned moon shoes. Also, that's not a real picture of me. I just did an image search for jumping Chinese kid. Moon shoes were everywhere in the 90s and I wanted them so bad, but my mom wouldn't buy them for me because she thought I'd break my ankles. Well, guess what, mom? I've been saving up for 25 years to afford moon shoes, so I'm mommy now. Everything I believed in is a lie. Oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> Anti gravity device, my nuts. For super jumping shoes, I'm gonna need super big springs. This pogo stick has a huge spring, and if one of them can make me jump this high. Oh my. Oh, I think the pogo stick laid in some dog poo. <laughs> the dog keeps pooing in my yard. I don't know who it is. Then two of them on shoes should make me jump twice as high. Get one foot. Get the other one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe like I have like a running, like a running start. It's like, take a step. <laughs> you're, just, you're just walking. You're not jumping. That was just walking. Jumping's really hard, okay? In my imagination, um, the, the spring shoes were a lot bouncier. But in real life, big springs are hard to compress, so they don't actually jump that good. I had to find something a little more powerful. This is a gun. Uh, it's a special kind of gun that uses 22 caliber blanks to launch dummy birds into the air to train hunting dogs. Oh! And this is way stronger than a spring. Yeah, that's gonna be me. Boom, like that. So I attached the guns to a frame to hold my feet and then you bolted a steel tube to a steel plate. That tube will fit over the barrel of the gun. So when it fires, that plate should push against the ground really, really hard. Boom. There you go. These aren't even moon shoes, these are Mars shoes. That's how far I think they're gonna go. So you see my feet go here in the foot channels and then um, I guess I'll have some string and I'll yank it and a, a, both the guns will go off at the same time. And since they're attached to my legs, I realized that I don't even know if my legs can physically handle gun shoes. Like what if they break my knees and make my legs bend backwards like this? Don't worry by the way, this isn't a real picture. I made it in something called Photoshop. Uh, here's scenario two where the shoes jump up so hard and so fast that they force my leg bones into my torso and turn my body into an accordion. This one is my personal favorite. In this one, the guns misfire and they shoot a bird that runs into a power line and cuts off the power to a traffic light. So this car runs into me so fast that my eyes pop out of my head. I think that this is probably the most likely outcome. So just to be safe, I decided to test the gun shoes on a dummy. His name is Billy. No. Oh, oh, they look pretty good actually. If I was a kid, I'd wear those. But when I was a kid, I was also really stupid. Then I wrapped some Kevlar string around the triggers of both of the guns so I could fire them from a safe distance. Oh, okay, cool, it does go off. Are you in position, Audrey? Gun shoot test in three, two, one. I didn't see what happened, did he jump? Billy jumps about uh, a foot off the ground and then the guns continue going for another eight feet. <laughs> so the shoes broke and also um, Billy's spine broke. The plastic piece here that connects his butt to his body um, snapped. So the gun shoes kind of took off without Billy, even though Billy only weighs 10 pounds. Uh, I weigh 200 pounds more than Billy does. I don't think my legs can survive gun shoes. <laughs> what I really need is a jumping mechanism that has power but isn't too explosive. And that's when I found these other moon shoe enthusiasts who power their jumps with compressed air. And I'm going to steal all of their ideas. This is a high pressure CO2 cartridge and this is a high pressure valve. There's actually a ton of energy in these little guys. It went in so fast, it just stamped a perfect circle in there. If we think of this tube and this rob like a piston, oh, that's a really nice sound. Then we can see how much weight this piston could launch into the air. Three, two, one. Dang! 
insane. That is 35 pounds and it actually, it went out of frame. So that's like, that's gotta be like three feet at least. When we tried this with the gunpowder, it exploded. So if I have two of these on each foot, um, I don't know, it's gonna do something. So I hired a machinist to cut down four lengths of thick-walled aluminum tubing. It's gonna handle well over a thousand PSI, I think. And turn them into, hopefully, high-pressure pneumatic pistons. He put grooves on the end so I can U-bolt them to a steel channel. That acts as a frame to hold two pistons oh. together for each foot. What are you doing, stupid? <laughs> Then I used special elevator bolts to mount the frames to a pair of motocross boots for, you know, ankle support. I used brake line to connect each pair of pistons to a single solenoid valve and CO2 cartridge. And while I'm wiring up those solenoid valves, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. I know, I know, that's a lame segue. Are you tired of spending 10,000 hours a week looking for promo codes online? Me too, but uh, that's why Today's sponsor is Honey, the number one shopping tool in America. Honey is a browser extension, which means it's like a little button that lives in the corner of your internet window and it saves you money, honey. With PayPal Honey, you can forget about the tedious task of searching for promo codes. It automatically searches for the best deals and discounts for you, all on the sites you already shop on. Like these basketballs that I can buy now for the price of one basketballs. All thanks to Honey. And the best part is it is completely free. Honey even works on my store, officialmythbustersmerch.com, and the first 100 people to use Honey at checkout can get 10% off their entire order. Using honey gives you that sweet endorphin rush that only saving time and money can. Oh, there's a truck coming, there's a truck. So upgrade your shopping game with PayPal Honey. All you gotta do is go to joinhoney.com slash Allen and start saving today. <laughs> that's, that's so freaking cool. Oh! It was time for me to test my 1,000 PSI moon shoes. Oh God, they're very heavy though. It's kind of like the opposite of what standing on the moon would feel like. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Let's put the dummy in here and we'll see what it looks like. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I've just decided. I saw my life flash before my eyes and I saw that I die in a jump boot accident. Not today. Am I being a baby right now? I'm being a baby. I'm being a baby. I'm being a baby. I'm gonna put him on. 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 <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna clean up the dog shit first. Who's doing this? Who's doing this to me? Oh, it's really stuck in there. Ugh. Ugh. This one looks like a peanut. Wait, this is a peanut. Do you see that? Did did an animal shit a solid peanut on my lawn or did someone? After stalling for only 36 more hours, I was finally ready to test my new moon shoes. I've got the battery and the um, the button here. Sorry, it's 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 from it's it's actuated with this. I don't mean anything bad by this. I I love you guys. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Three, two, one. Oh God! <laughs> oh, the timing is really hard to get right. <sighs> Oh, it's hard to retract them. <laughs> no one died, nothing exploded. I think uh, oh, that might be an issue, but. When you jump normally, you don't have to think about which specific leg muscles have to activate and when. Your brain just times everything automatically. Oh, that was a little early. But with these jump boots, oh. I need to consciously trigger them at the exact right time. Otherwise, instead of adding height to my jump, they just knock me over. Oh my God. No, that timing didn't work. Yeah, that seemed like it went way too late. Oh yeah, definitely. They can also be pretty hard on my body. I'm fine. Just just give me give me a sec to get these back in. Oh my god. Purge! Oh. It's still really scary, but uh, I'm just gonna get the hang of this. But after a few more oh, days no. of practice, I felt like oh. I was actually jumping higher. Oh! 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 That felt really cool. I think it's gotta be like right when I'm coming up, actually. That seems to be the best time, I think. Okay. Oh, yes! Was that high? That felt, that felt good. Whoa, I'm like at the top of the ruler. Wait, I was like almost there. And that's like, that's 28, 29, 30, 31 inches. That's really high. But my editor, Audrey, disagreed. All right, Audrey, can you, can you go ahead and tell everyone at home what you just told me? 
You're cheating. What What do you mean? What do you mean I'm cheating? You're bending your legs. It makes you look like you're going higher. I could jump super high if I bend my legs. And it turns out Audrey was right because I was measuring how far my feet were from the ground. So bending my legs up was artificially increasing that measurement. The only way I could be sure I was actually jumping higher was to do a vertical reach <laughs> test with a normal jump. That's pretty high. And then compare it to the super moon shoe jump. Oh, whoa. Ah, shit. That's like ridiculous. It's like literally the exact same. Ah! I am completely out of smart ideas. So I came up with a really dumb one instead. Cause before each of these boots only had one CO2 cartridge, but now Ooga Booga Monkey Brain, they each have two CO2 cartridges, boom. I don't think it's gonna be twice as much, but it's gonna be more. Also, instead of having those wires running up and down my body, it's a totally wireless system now. Each of these shoes has its own battery pack and they're remotely controlled. And when I hit this button, all the valves turn on at the same time. These might be the nicest things I've ever built. If this doesn't make me jump higher, I will delete my channel. Visualizing jumping into the air, soaring like an eagle. So it's not the jump shoes. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 that felt really high. I think I landed really funny on my balls. <laughs> that felt really high. That looked pretty high, okay, good. This jump is 100% legitimately a full foot higher than I can jump normally. These are the moon shoes I always wanted. And the best part is they're not just for jumping. They can also help you with self-defense. Check it out. Yeah! <laughs> that was really violent. <laughs> you can even use them to fight uh, trash. Uh, oh! <laughs> Instantly flattened, it was so cool. <laughs> Recycling's fun now. But what they're really good for oh! <laughs> is cheating at sports. That's really fun. Because normally I'm what's known as a vertically challenged person. I need like another foot. But now I have moon shoes. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! oh, oh! Holy crap! That's the first time I've ever grabbed the rim of a basketball hoop in my life. Holy shit, that was awesome. Whoa! Thank you. I really appreciate it. I bet I could dunk this basketball. Up. Up. Three, two, one. Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, that was totally worth it. I can't believe that. Human beings in the NBA could just do that without building a contraption on their legs. Yes. Oh, God. In your face, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You're now in the secret end part of the video where I tell you about the Mythbusters trademark and how I still own it. I still have the rights to sell official Mythbusters merchandise and you can get your very own at officialmythbustersmerch.com. Some people complained about the official Mythbusters t-shirt though, so now there's a kawaii version of our mascot Busty the Walrus. And it's so cute that you could wear this shirt to grandma's baptism. There's also stickers in the store now that the distributor has warned me are priced so affordably that we will lose money on every sale. And if you wanna save an additional 10% on that price, then make sure you download Honey at joinhoney.com slash Alan and check out with the code HONEY10 at officialmythbustersmerch.com. I know this sounds like a shit post, but it's 100% real. I am a terrible businessman. Please don't buy too many stickers and buy some shirts too, please. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.